swirl of the end of each year, we hope to begin to turn toward our hope for tomorrow. So as we celebrate our finally, final holiday season here in the White House, we are guided by the values that we hold sacred, faith, family, and service to our country, kindness toward all of our neighbors, and the power of community. So that's what inspired this holiday theme. What I think of this time of year, a season of peace and light. We begin with light from the stunning rotating star above the east entrance is when you all came in. And walking in, we're embraced by the sparkling spirit of the season as light-filled greenery led us to the first Christmas tree display dedicated to our gold star families. And this year's Gold Star Tree exhibit is constructed of six large stars. I think you all saw them by now, right? Representing each branch of our military. I thought it was just beautiful walking in and seeing the gold and leading to that tree. You know, the names of fallen service members are written on the Gold Star ornaments uh, on the company Christmas trees. And the display honors uh, the heroic men and women of our country, of our nation's military, who have laid down their lives for our country, those who are missing in action, and the families who carry on their legacies. So may God bless our troops and their families. <laughs> then chiming bells call us to the East Colonnade, where bells of all sizes float above us, and line every archway, filling the air with the sounds of the season. In the East Garden Room, a horse-drawn sleigh pulls us into the historic mansion. It was really cute, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and there we enter another hall of light as lush garlands of green envelop us in the tranquility of nature. In the library, a twirling forest of vintage ceramic trees shines with the color of the holidays. And walking in, I was taken back to my childhood because when, the <laughs> when that tree first came out, so you know it's an antique, we knew Christmas had, become, had begun. So across the hall in the Vermeer Room, we enjoy trees of stacked bows and vibrant silk flowers. And, uh, Artisanal breads spill out of the china room and we can almost smell their warm aroma, filling the air with memories. Earlier this year, I opened the diplomatic room. It was the first time to be on the tour, so the expanded White House tour. So I hope you saw, those of you who were here other years, I hope you saw the difference. You know, I tried to make the tour come alive. It was important to me as an educator. So this holiday season, for the first time, guests will be able to enjoy that space, and it features the White House Historical Association ornament honoring President Carter. God bless him. Now, look above us. Here in the East Room, a reflective canopy wraps us in a peaceful snowfall. In the Green Room, a rainbow of glass ornaments fills the room with a burst of color and light. And just outside the green room, we find the official White House menorah made during Joe's first year in the White House. But the carpentry shop made that themselves. Make sure that you see it. It's truly beautiful. And you know, it came from wood on the, from the White House grounds uh, in the renovation of this house 70 years ago. That's pretty incredible. So in the blue room, you know, you can't help but smile when you see that tree. And as the animals move up and down and, you know, and we see the holiday candy treats lining the tree, don't you feel like you're a kid again? And sitting on a carousel, you know, is that world of light just spinning around us. So the White House Christ official Christmas tree also features the name of every state and territory and the District of Columbia as you look around the top of it. And each year I love watching all the visitors, and you'll probably see it yourselves when you walk in there. 
looking for your home state and you know seeing your faces light up as you find like hey there's Delaware or Pennsylvania New Jersey in the red room glowing gifts from under the Christmas tree lift light the messages of peace above and for the state dining room we invited military families from the USS Delaware and the USS Gabriel Giffords, the two Navy vessels that I have the honor of sponsoring to create some uh, paper garlands hanging throughout the room. I thought they looked so beautiful. And adorning the sparkling Christmas trees beside them are self-portraits by students from across the country. <laughs> And I know that some of the teachers, some of their teachers are here and they help decorate the trees. So how many of you are teachers? How many of you are teachers? Lots of teachers. I love that. Because teachers always get stuff done. <laughs> so the trees are amazing. Of course, the room also features this year's incredible gingerbread house. I love that. Didn't you see it light up? I mean, it was just so beautiful. And did you see the ice skating rink right in front of it? And Susie and Carlo did, you know, you did such an amazing job. So thank you for creating that. And this year's display captures the light of our theme from the glowing windows to the bright star on top of the house of the gingerbread house. And in the cross hall behind me, spectacular flocks of hand-cut peace doves fly across the sky. I mean, it, that, really, how, how beautiful is that? And finally, don't miss that teddy bear driving the vintage red truck. <laughs> now to you, the people who brought this vision to life are volunteers. This, yes, all of you. This would not be possible without your work. It's been incredible to watch all of you transform this space year after year. And you traded time with families for hours gluing, you know, with hot, hot glue guns. And, uh, you know, and Thanksgiving wrists, leftovers for tired wrists from wiring ornaments to the trees because, you know, you can't just hang it. It has to be, you know, hung perfectly. <laughs> I know, some of you are perfectionists. That's okay. <laughs> and, some of, and you have to wrap them around and around the branch so the ornaments stay on because, you know, thousands of kids are coming through here and they're going to try to pull them off so you have to make sure that they're secure. They always try to. I mean, you know. But... It's during those long afternoons when your hands are sore from cutting the ribbons just so, from hanging the greenery. That's when these lifelong friendships are made. And that's when the magic happens. So I'm already hearing about the text change you're creating to keep in touch. <laughs> I wish you could add my name to those. So thank you for everything that you've done. To Brian Raffinelli, who's back there in the corner, Brian. Love you and his team. I'm so grateful for your vision and your leadership. And to all the incredible decorators who were here, like Glitterville, BMF, Silver Lining, Sherry Berry Paper, and Design, Frost Chicago, thank you for dedicating your time and talents to this design. I'm also grateful to the National Confectioners Association for their partnership and unyielding support. Thank, so let's thank all of them. And there's another person who helped bring the magic of our theme to life. The incredible illustrator of our 2024 White House Holiday, holiday Guide, Zoe Renucci. Zoe, where are you? Oh, there she is. You'll have to say hello to everybody, Zoe, because they so appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for creating the beautiful artistry and your design. 
So these last four years, you know, there's a group of people who have helped us stay in touch with the American people. And there are correspondence volunteers. So you can imagine how much I appreciate them as an English teacher and their writing skills, because I teach writing. So all of you are an essential part of our democracy, and I'm so grateful for your work. Thank you all for your heart and for everything you've done to make this possible, the people's house. So for Joe and for me, these are the final holidays at the White House. So standing with all of you, I remember the first time we walked across this threshold right over here on Inauguration Day and the gravitational pull of history guided us forward, wrapping us in the centuries of stories that live here in this house. Then we were finally able to welcome all the visitors, and on public tours, and on receptions, and as volunteers decorated during the holidays, during the four years, your laughter and ideas harmonized with the echoes of the past. And in those moments, this became more than a historic house. You made it a home, alive with purpose and possibility. And that's why each year, we've opened the doors of the People's House wider and wider, so we can bring the light of more Americans into these halls. It's been the honor of our lives to serve as your first family. May our nation be blessed with peace and light this holiday season. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. We love you all. Thank you.